Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and currently a Sanogen Mod 12 ROM that's based on Android 5.0 Lollipop is available for the Galaxy S5, that is the Snapdragon GSM variant of the Galaxy S5. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to flash this onto your Galaxy S5. So uh, the prerequisite here is that you need to be rooted and have a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you haven't done that already, I'll leave a direct link to my video tutorial on how to get that done in the description down below. Also note that in order to flash Cyanogen Mod 12, we will have to do a factory wipe. So make sure you back up all your apps and data before you proceed. So in the description, you'll also find a link to the original thread under the download section. So go ahead, click that. That will take you to this page. So over here, just scroll down and you'd find what works and what are the current issues. Just check this out. This will be a, this will keep getting updated as new builds come out. So just check that out. And uh, if you're still okay, proceed. So scroll down a little bit more and uh, you'd find the unified GSM ROM, the, the, that's the Sanjan Mod 12 ROM under the download section there. Download the ROM zip file. There's also a mirror here. And then uh, download the gapps file. Transfer both zip files onto your internal or external SD. Once you've done that, go ahead and turn off your S5. So once your S5 is off, go ahead, hold up volume power and home at the same time. Let the keys go once you see Galaxy S5 displayed. So this would take you into your custom recovery, full touch in my case. And this is a touch based recovery. If yours is not, then the volume keys will double for navigation and the power key for selection. So the first thing you do is scroll down, select wipe and format options and select wipe, I mean factory reset. So once that's done, wipe cache. And then wipe Dalvik. So guys, if your recovery looked a, a little different, you could, uh, you'd find the option, option wipe data slash factory reset here. Wipe cache and then under advanced, you'd find wipe Dalvik cache. So that's, uh, again, a common scenario. So it's the same thing. Don't worry about it. Next up, go and install zip. Choose zip from SD card and select the CM file and hit yes install. So all right guys, we're done. So next up again, select choose zip from SD card. Zero slash. Just navigate to the G apps file. Select it and yes install. So once that's done, go back, select reboot system now. So your Galaxy S5 will reboot now and uh, as with every install, every installation of every fresh installation of a new ROM, the first boot is going to be longer than your regular boot time. So don't panic if your phone doesn't boot up for about five minutes, just give it time and it should get back up. So I'll be back with you guys once my Galaxy S5 boots up. So we're up guys. So let me quickly run through setup and we're done. So there you go. Let me just go into the Play Store. Where's the Play Store now? Okay, got it. Works. And just to show you guys. So I guess that's pretty much it guys for this quick little tutorial on how to get the unofficial Cyanogen Mod 12 based on Android Fire Auto Lollipop onto your Galaxy S5. So I hope you liked the video, hope you found it useful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like this, do stay subscribed. So once again, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.